Honor Club, where honor is real. You were the former tag team champions at that point. You were challenging Haas and Benjamin, wrestling's greatest tag team, who were the current champions. But I just have to ask you, though, you know, that was a, a landmark uh, moment, obviously. Uh, Sinclair had just bought the company uh, from Carrie Silken. This was episode one. Um, what Was there a sense of pride, I guess, maybe being put in that main event spot um, on the very first show? Absolutely. Uh, anytime you get put in the main event or you get given a significant amount of time on a show, that is something that makes you feel good, something that makes you feel uh, like the hard work is paying off. Um, Haas and Benjamin were guys that we had good chemistry with. And it was just, um, you know, we had some of our, some of our better tag matches with them. And it was a, a very interesting time for Ring of Honor. Our contracts expired uh, around WrestleMania of that year. And, you know, we were looking to go to WWE. We had uh, talked with a couple people. Um, and we were transparent with everybody. We explained, um, w you know, what we were hoping to do. Uh, so it wasn't anything... Uh, <laughs> anything dishonest uh but what we did was instead of um you know signing a new contract we just kind of had an agreement for the next couple months to kind of see how things went uh we went and we had our tryout and we we're just kind of finishing up so it was just a an interesting time because it was such a new chapter for ring of honor and it was it was fascinating to be a part of that when everything is kind of coming together, but then also it's, it's a bit surreal that we're, we're basically on our way out at the same time. Right. Yeah. That was an interesting position, obviously uh, for you guys specifically to be in uh, looking back on that night. If you recall, was there uh, what, what was the mood like uh, just in the locker room? I mean, was there a feeling that this was indeed a game changer, kind of a huge moment for ring of honor because I mean, Kerry Silkins talk, talked about it publicly on this podcast and, and many others that he was losing money at the time and had Sinclair not come in and bought the company, Ring of Honor probably would not have survived. I mean, was, was the talent aware, like what the state of the company was at that point and how big of a deal this was that Sinclair came in? I don't think anyone knew how dire it, it had become. I think we knew that it was difficult and they were working their way through it. But I think the roster, the roster was made up of so many seasoned pro wrestlers, right? We, a lot of us had just come from all over. And when you come from all over and you spend any amount of time in the business, you hear, you know, promises, Oh, this is going to happen. This is going to this, that, 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 right. And it doesn't take you very long to realize that most of those things are not going to come true. <laughs> that is just the nature of, of pro wrestling, whether someone is, you know, actively trying to get one over on you or they're just, you know, a little bit too optimistic. Um, but a lot of us had been around the block. We'd seen that type of stuff. So we were, I felt at least that there was a little apprehension, a little hesitance, not in any kind of negative way, but we were just like, all right, who are these people? <laughs> what are they, what are they trying to do? What do they want to do? What's in it for them? Um, and I believe that that taping, um, I believe we were in Chicago Ridge. Yep. Uh, th the locker room there is a gym, <laughs> right? So there are fly machines and benches and leg press, and you just kind of have to set up your bags <laughs> where you can find a little bit of space. So I just have this moment of Joe Coff talking to the locker room and kind of explaining things. And we're all like seated on various uh, exercise equipment. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's, it sounded good. It sounded great. But there's a lot of things in pro wrestling that sound good and sound great. You just have to, um, you know, have the patience to kind of see it through. And then also just not get your hopes up too much because uh, you, you don't know. There's so much uncertainty in a business like professional wrestling. So um, 
I think 500 episodes later, <laughs> we have our answer as yeah. to how that's going to turn out. Absolutely. Um, let me ask you, though, a, a quick trivia question for you about episode one. Uh, do you remember, you were in the main event that night, obviously, we said that, but there was a, another match that night, the first match on episode one. Do you recall what it was? Hmm. It involved a, uh, a tag team, uh, guys that ended up uh, doing pretty well for themselves. Oh, was it, uh, was it Briscoes and uh, Kenny and Rhett? It was actually Future Shock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had actually wrestled them. Uh, in Atlanta earlier that year, yeah, I had um, a, a, a cool thing for me is I got to work with Cole and O'Reilly on HD net tapings. So just yeah, what a you know I feel a lot of pride in seeing where both of those guys have have gone, what all they've done, um, and just you know just being a small part of it. That's very cool for me. Obviously, this is an ROH podcast, so I have to ask the question. Um, certainly, a lot of the Ring of Honor fans would love to see Chris Hero back. Uh, is there a chance that, that that could possibly be something in the future? Yeah, it's absolutely something that's possible. It's not something that has really been discussed. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not taking any bookings at the moment. I'm not really, you know, I don't even have anything in the future. People message me about, you know, the summer and the fall. And I just, I'm not okay. Um, just confirming anything when everything is just still so up in the air. So, um, it's absolutely not out of the question, but it is not something that is actually in the works. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm okay. saying there's a chance. There's a chance. All right. <laughs> Hey, Honor Nation, this weekend will be monumental. Don't miss Ring of Honor's 500th episode. Make sure you tune in because you won't want to miss this. Watch ROH TV on Sinclair channels or anytime on Best on the Planet and Honor Club.